tea's ready. Right, listen, however any of us have handled this, it's because we've all got the same priority, yeah? Faye. So between us, we're going to work something out. Yeah, sorry. You're a good dad, really. Ditto. Mm -hmm. But Mum, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what he was saying the other day when he found out Joseph had hairspray on. <laughs> oh, that was Steph. <laughs> Where's Gary anyway? Serving the community. Mm, got out the community. Oh, you cheeky thing. Sorry. Uh, don't you dare start that talk. Lemonade. Hey, listen. I've just been telling these. There's this lad on Gary's community service. He'd nick the shirt off your back from under your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, that good. He got caught. <laughs> yeah, well, the supervisor, he's noticed that some tools was going missing. So he's told him he's being filmed 24-7. Only thing is now, the lad thinks he's on some sort of reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that show. Oh, yeah. And now, every time anybody talks to him, he makes sure that he doesn't swear in case he gets evicted. <laughs> Robin, I think his name is, but they call him Simon. Because he's simple. No, because he wears his jeans yanked up to him like Simon <laughs> Cowell. Mm. I'll get it. Uh, no, you sit down, you. Anybody think you're trying to swerve my shepherd's pie? Hey, a life without your shepherd's pie is a life I couldn't live. Oh, you <laughs> cheeky so and so. Hello, Windass Armstrong residents. If you like shepherd's pie and tin peas, do make your way up. Uh, hey! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Owen? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming down. Nobody touched my plate, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Owen? I'm here to see my daughters. So you think you could just turn up more? Look, I know it's a shock. No, but... you leaving me was a shock. This is my worst nightmare. Owen. Dad? What's going on? Nothing, my lad. I'll be up in a minute. Who's this? No one. Look, just keep going upstairs with you. Go on. You must be Katie. Yeah? Do you want to tell her? Tell me what? Dad. I'm your mum, Katie. <laughs> Is this a joke? Dad. Dad, will you talk to me? And you do know that you're not fat. And even if you were... Mum! Can you just drop it? Katie, please, Get love. No one's interested. Just go, will you? What's going on? You... I'm sorry. Who's this? This. This is our mother, apparently. What do you want? You're a young woman. Did you know she was coming? You've not answered the question. What do you want? Who oh, cares what she wants? You heard them. I'm sorry. But I'm going nowhere. Oh, really? All right, OK. Um, listen, I think everybody just needs to calm down. Um, face, sweetheart. Go and eat your food in your room. There's a good girl. No, I want to stay. Go now, please. Go. Um, you better sit down. So where is he then, this husband? In Portugal, last time I saw him. Should have left him there years ago. So what? You thought you'd just take a bit of an holiday and look your kids up? This is no holiday. I'm here to see you and Katie. Why now? Believe me. Not a week's gone past in all this time, but I haven't thought about you. Imagine what you both look like. What you're up to. But I knew. How could I make it right? What could I say to make you understand? Nothing. And there's nothing you can say now. Do I regret leaving you? Yes. Should I have come back for you? Gone through the courts to get you? Yes. I'm guilty as charged. No. No, what you're guilty of is abandoning your own children. It wasn't like that. Yes, I walked out, but... You, you don't get it, do you? They do not want to hear your sob story, OK? <laughs> do you know what I used to tell the other kids? I used to say that you were dead. Yeah, because I'd rather that than them look at me and think that even my own mother didn't love me. I always loved you. No, once you found out I was going to end up like this, you hated me for it. You didn't want to deal with it, so you left. That is not true. You left and didn't come back. What part of that have I got wrong? I've got a child. 
Yeah. And I know I would die rather than walk away and leave him. But you didn't care. How do you think that made me feel? I always loved you. Both of you. Yeah, right. I used to wonder what you looked like, whether you'd changed. Turns out now you're here. I can't stand the sight of you. All right, you know, I've had a little bit better go. Please. I... No, not now. She's right, you need to leave. Come on. My number. expect you to hate me so much you'd lie about why I left. I never said you left because of Izzy. Yeah, but you never said I didn't, did you? You let her believe that the one person that should have loved her didn't. Why? Why do you think? <sighs> because you walked out on us. No, I walked out on you, Owen. You! You broke my heart. <sighs> you could have come back. I tried. But you wouldn't let me see them. Oh, you mean I could have come back to you? You couldn't forgive me, and that is why you decided to punish me. Oh, so? So you go off with another fellow, and I'm supposed to think what? Oh. Hey? I'm supposed to say what? Fine, love, great! T take my children. They were all I had, and I was not going to be left with nothing. And what about me? You wouldn't even let me see them, and I could have explained. You made your choice. But in the end, you're the one who's got it all. I'm their mother. And I'm going to try my damnedest to win them back. And this time, you are not going to stop me. Come in. Thanks. Well, this looks very nice. Um, I'm gonna make a brew. Do you want one? Please. I, uh, I was surprised to hear from you so soon. Um, milk and sugar. Just milk, ta. Does your dad know we're speaking? You're kidding, aren't you? He hates your guts. Yet you're still cold. Well, if I'm gonna hate somebody, I prefer to meet him first. Okay, yeah, that's short. <sighs> He's gorgeous. Will you text me this picture? Yeah. Oh, you know, I wish you'd just ask me the question. Get it over and done with. The question? How could I leave you? You had an affair and bailed on us. What else is there to know? I can't excuse what I did. Yeah, good. Good, cos if you even try, I will show you that door. I've dreamt about this for so long, and now I'm sat here. I loved you. I loved all of you. You must never doubt that. Yeah, we had a funny way of showing it. I was young, Katie. Back then, I didn't know who I was, what I wanted. We should have been what you wanted. Me, is it, and Dad? Well, I realised that too late. Yeah, you did. Do you know that Izzy thought you left because of her? Is that true? It was complicated. <laughs> I don't know you're gonna say that, eh? Well, things were difficult for a long time. Your daddy... Yeah, he raised us alone. And we never wanted for anything, so don't you even start with him. What I was going to say was your dad, he deserved better. You all did. Believe me, I tried to be a good mum. I tried for years. But in the end, I think... I just gave up on myself. And now what? What's changed? Me. And I'm just supposed to forgive you? Absolutely not. You know, I can't begin to turn the clock back. I'm starting from scratch. I know that. All I'm asking for... All I'm begging for... is a chance. Maybe we could get together next week. 
Go for lunch in town? Maybe. I could take you shopping. Oh, sorry. It's just, this is all new for me. Join the club. <laughs> oh, I uh, think we might be in trouble. You're unbelievable. Dad. Bunny! As soon as my back's turned. It wasn't like that. Oh, yeah. You must think I was born yesterday. It was my idea, right? I rang her. Got a covering for you already, has No, she? it's the truth. Why would you do that, love? Is that a serious question? I've got every right. We needed to talk. No. What you needed to do was to stay away. This is not her fault. I called her... Not her fault! <laughs> not her fault! Everything is her fault. It was 20 years ago, and it is now. I get that you're angry. No, I'm not angry, love. I'm more. OK, I'm just scared. I'm scared for you, and I'm scared for your sister. There's no need to be. She's not here to hurt anyone. Listen to her, Owen, please. Walk away. I told you, that isn't going to happen. You can't stop me from seeing her, Dad. You're right, I can't. Just remember this, love. Whatever lies she shoves down your throat, yeah? Whatever empty promises she makes, your precious mother will always, always think of number one. Just a coffee, thanks. Shall I? Um... Yeah. Two coffees, sir. That's the ex, is it? Yeah. Does Mum know you're seeing her? Yeah. Yeah, she does. Can you bring them over, please? You've not changed a bit. My family has been through hell these past few months, and the last thing we need is you stirring things up. Stirring things up? I want my daughter to know who I really am. Totally different from how you've painted me, that's for sure. It's way too late to kiss and make up, OK? That ship sailed. Listen, I get it. Your marriage has fallen apart, you know. You're at a bit of a loose end. Don't patronise me. You're curious to know about what happened to the kid you dumped all those years ago. You know it wasn't like that. I want a chance to put things right. Well, some things can't be fixed. I know things are still raw. But with time and a bit of persistence... No, no. You're not wanted, Linda. OK? Surplus to requirements. Whatever you think of me, I love those girls. <laughs> Stop saying that, will you? For God's sake, you don't even know them. They're strangers to you. You made your choice all those years ago, OK? Nothing's changed. All this bravado, mouthing off. You're still angry because I hurt you. You know, isn't it time to forgive and move on? Oh, love. No, we moved on years ago. Without you. Because we had no choice. There you are, Mrs Braithwaite. Do you know I... That affair was the biggest mistake of my life. Why wouldn't you believe me? You know, when you punished me, you punished our girls as well. You're the one that robbed them of a mother, not me. I've had enough of this. Hit a nerve, have I? I begged you to take me back over and over again for the sake of our kids. And I told you the time that, that affair, it was like a fantasy, an escape. An escape? What well, life with me was really that bad, was it, love? You know we weren't getting on. We were falling apart. And I was struggling to cope with Izzy's diagnosis. Oh, for you. I was grieving, Owen, for the child that she could never be. My heart, it was breaking. It was I... so was mine. I couldn't walk away, could I? Someone had to keep the home together. You know, I know why you've let them think the worst of me for all these years. Because you know you were in the wrong keeping us apart. I was protecting them. And I don't blame you for not wanting me back as your wife. But I could still have been part of their lives if you'd have let me. I looked after them. They wanted for nothing. Nothing but their mother. If you had an ounce of decency left in you, you would walk away right now. I don't want to see your face around here again if you could that. I'm 
got a promise, I've done. Have you been waiting for me? I, I didn't want to come in and... Well, if you want to talk to me, just say so. Sorry, that was a bit harsh. I don't blame you. I'd feel the same in your shoes, I'm sure. Look, I might not remember you. Right, but Izzy does only too well, and you tipping up like this... It's just causing loads of bad memories for her. It must do. I... Anyway, I've only got an hour for my lunch, so I'm gonna go. Katie, Katie, please. I, I know you don't want to speak to me. I'm just not sure what's left to say. I just want to let you know that I booked my flight home. When? Next week. So you don't have to worry about me hanging about anymore. Please, can't we talk before I go? I just feel like I'm betraying my dad and Izzy. Please, love. Just a drink? Right, I finish at five. I'll see you over the pub on the corner, but one drink. Thank you, sweetheart. You've grown into such a lovely young woman. And what about Izzy? Oh. Yes. Her, of course, too. Both of you. You've turned into such amazing people. You know, you might not believe me, but the nights I've lain awake thinking about the pair of you, how you are, what you're up to. And you could have rang, written, Facebooked, emailed. Katie, it's just all so difficult to explain. I... Right, first round's on me. Oh, yeah, what can I get you? Um, what do you think you're playing at? Hey, I thought we'd agreed you'd be staying away. Uh, excuse me, I don't have any trouble, thank you. There won't be. What are you doing having a drink with her? It was my fault. <laughs> Seems to be a reoccurring theme. Look, I just wanted one last drink with my daughter before I go. Oh, nice. Well, if I didn't feel rejected before, thank you for making it crystal. Look, why don't we all just sit down and... No! We'll be... No. Just go. We've managed this long without you. I never rejected you. For about the last 18 years. What was that, a sabbatical? Do you know what your selfishness did to me, to all of us? And you think you could just turn up, buy us a drink and everything's OK? You're a disgrace. <sighs> OK, um, I'm sorry, Owen. But I've kept quiet this long. But it's time the girls knew the truth. Got to tell them. What's she on about? Nothing. Linda, don't, okay? I don't want to be painted as a villain anymore. It's not fair. You think I left because of your EDS that I couldn't cope? I didn't. He lied to you. Don't listen to her, okay? I tried to come back, but he wouldn't have me. I tried to keep in touch, but he would not let me. I sent letters. Birthday cards, Christmas cards, everyone returned, unopened. Is this true? I've still got them. I'll show you if you like. Dad! What? I swear. I'm... She walked out straight after your diagnosis. I had an affair. It's not the same thing. You left when your daughter needed you most. Not because of her, because I was a mess. And two months later, not. Even two months, I tried to come back. I missed you, but he wouldn't let me through the door. Is this true? You didn't deserve to come back. You weren't thinking about Izzy, you were thinking about yourself. You wanted to punish me. I have done nothing but think about Izzy and Katie ever since you destroyed our family. And what kind of father lets his daughter believe that the mother left because of her disability? I never said that, love. Yes, you did. No. I knew I was thinking it. I remember asking you, clear as day, we sat on my bed on the green duvet, and I said to you, is it because of me? And you said we're better off without her. Is he wet enough? Do not come near me! Oh, steady, love. You're going to run me over. It was complicated, love. How could you do that? I'm not talking to you. Anna. 
not doing this to you. I'm sorry, but you gave me no choice. I want a relationship with my daughters. I'm not destroying mine. Blimey. He's used to cry herself to sleep at night. <laughs> no, she pretended she didn't, but... How could he do that to his own kids, eh? Right, I don't want Faye knowing about this yet. Well, she's gonna find out. Listen, we'll tell her when we're all a bit calmer, OK? Can I come in? Look, I didn't come here intending to upset things. Yeah, well, you've managed to do just that. I want a relationship with my daughters. Surely you understand. I'm here to ask you to go easy on him. Why? Look, I know your dad did a terrible thing. But he's right. I was in a mess after Izzy's diagnosis. It shocked me. I was scared and confused. I had an affair with my boss. I realised pretty quickly it was a stupid mistake, but for Owen, the damage was done. He was devastated. So what? It's not an excuse. I mean, really broken. And he took it out on Izzy? Well, that's not fair. He's been a brilliant father in all other respects. He was so upset he couldn't see past his own hurt and anger. I don't want you and Izzy to hate him. I just want you to, to be able to love me as well. Yeah, it was a pretty rotten way for us to find out, wasn't it? Blurting it out in the pub like that. Well, it's not how I planned it. I mean, you heard her. She wouldn't even talk to me. What would you have done? What a mess, eh? I know. Which is why I've cancelled my flight. I'm going to stick around for a bit. If that's all right with you, Katie. Yeah, of course. I, I don't want you to go. <laughs> Anna? Well, it's not to me, is it? I know this must be difficult for you. Not as difficult as it is for Izzy. She's the one I'm worried about. Well, I'm on my way to see her. Well, haven't you said enough for tonight? <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> don't be daft. I'm just a colleague, really. Do you know what? They actually do a really nice tune this night, isn't they? Oh, you know what I fancy? Bacon butter. Oh, so do I. <laughs> well, let's be devils then, eh? Look, I tell you what. Um, you order them and I'll find us a table. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Do you mind if we join you? I was just about to go. Oh, OK. Uh, we'll sit here. Is that them? No one you'd know. Izzy, how about we all go for a meal tonight? Just the three of us. My treat? You certainly owe us a few, but a bit late now, though. Oh, don't be like that. You know it's not her fault. Yeah, all right. Why not? What about that bistro? Nick's, is it? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Six o'clock, OK? Six is fine, yeah. I'll get Gary to babysit. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear all that? Yeah. Surely agreed to go to get a meal. Oh, yeah, because it's all about you, innit, Owen? I still don't know if this is the right thing to do. Not even though you know the truth. She still had an affair, she still left us. Yeah, so did I. He's still talking to me. Just give her a chance. Hiya. Hiya. You're right. So you're doing that tonight? Do you enjoy your meal? Oh, yeah, Dad. Well, until about two seconds ago. Don't suppose you've got a spare table for one of you? Izzy, don't. Don't what? Dad, I think you should just go. Let's all just calm down. I need to talk to you. And we need some peace to drink our coffee. Um, if you need me, just give me a drink. Please, love. She's right, Dad. I hope you're happy with yourself. Do not blame someone else for the mess you've created. Listen, I think it would be a good idea for me and your dad to have a quick chat. On our own. Well, I'm not going anywhere on his account. Izzy, please. Yeah, come on, let's go. I'll, I'll meet you in the Rovers. Here. You get them in. It's very 
Very swanky. Things have changed. Right? Fancy restaurant with you again. I don't remember many fancy restaurants. You must be confused me with Mr. Big Shot. Oh, don't be like that, Owen. Everyone else's life is always better than your own. You seem to be doing all right. Chuck your twenties around like confetti. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. <laughs> Look, I'll cut to the chase, shall I? How about I buy you a drink and make you a proposition? Why? Why, <laughs> we all live happily ever after. No, we all forgive and forget. Those girls don't look very forgiving to me. Well, maybe I can help with that. So I'm relying on you to build bridges with Casey and Izzy. If I forgive you, they're more likely to as well. I've forgotten how persuasive you can be. I didn't come here to cause trouble. No, I know that. I saw him in the first place. That was a long time for a quick chat. Yeah, I just wanted to put you down straight on a few things. Did you? He really is sorry, you know. I've accepted his apology, and I think you should both do the same. How can you say that after everything he did to you, to all of us? Because I've seen what holding grudges can do. And he's the one who's been there for you all this time. You said it yourselves, haven't you? And it seems like he's done a pretty good job to me. Are you two fancy doing something tonight? Oh, I might have plans. Yeah, I'll probably struggle to get a babysitter. Well, you can bring Jake. Well, if Kate is busy, maybe we could do it another time. All right. Busy doing what? I was going to say she wanted to come to mine. Can't keep you all to myself, can I? You going to enjoy your night with mummy and sister? Sounds good. Count me in then. Well, me too. I reckon I'll ask Gary. Could do the night off. Brilliant. I'll see you later. Nice evening. Yeah, lovely, thanks. Katie's just been telling me about the time you stayed in that caravan in North Wales. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That time. Mm. Well, the time you were sick all over the Bounty Castle. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, probably had something to do with the 18 donuts you'd eaten that morning. I'll play. Hey, I've still got the photos. I'll tell you what, why don't you all come upstairs now? Look. Sounds good. I'm a bit tired. I reckon I'll be going home. Oh, come on, love. It'll be a laugh. I'd rather not, thanks. Are you sure it'll be okay with Anna? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Oh, don't oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> yeah. yeah. oh. yeah, see, I told you. That's about the seventh photo of you stuffing your face with a donut. Enough of the donut jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> How is she, love? She says she's just tired. Yeah, that should be fine in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Owen. You just sweep it all to one side, eh? We well, take a nice trip down memory lane. I don't think that's what he was doing. Come on, love. <sighs> it's getting late. Maybe I should go. Yeah, do you know what? Maybe you should. Anna? No. You don't have to leave. No, it's fine, honestly. I'll see you later, Katie. Why don't you join us, Liz? Thank you very much. Katie. Thought you might be in here. I hope we're not interrupting. No, of course not. Right, what's everyone having? You sit down, I'll get these. The pint and the white wine. No, I said I'll get these. Dad, can you just let Kellen get the drinks? Can I have a white wine for me and the mum, please? <sighs> he carries that kind of cash. People with money. Let's have a nice drink together. Oh, I've been saying that all night. Oh, yes. oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Mum can speak Portuguese. Oh, well, that'll come in handy round here. Yeah, well, maybe not round here, but they speak in lots of other places, like Brazil. <laughs> yeah, they speak Brazilian in Brazil. Even I know that. So what exactly do you do, Cal? Uh, security. And Jen, you could be a bit more specific. Oh, Dad, give him a break. Hmm. Sounds like you're asking me what my prospects are. Yeah, I've been watching too much Downton. <laughs> <laughs> Still here? No, I left an hour. So the uh, the concept of a decent day's pay for a decent day's work doesn't ring any bells, eh, Colin? Dad, 
Stop having a go. It's only asking Callum what he does for a living. Oh! He's a drug dealer. You are. Drug dealer? Had it from the horse's mouth. Well, Kylie's, but you know what I mean. Yeah, been to prison and all. Still, suppose it all makes for a very colourful CV. Have a good night. Is this true? No, he works in security. You don't have to explain yourself. Oh, yes, he does. All oh, right. Box way whiter than white. How many times has Gary been up in court? Wait, now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Me and Callum are together, right? He's bought all the drinks all night and gets nothing but abuse. We're going. See ya. Where are you going? Home. Because as daft as I am, I thought we could have a really nice evening together. I shouldn't have come. No, you shouldn't have done, but it makes no difference because he'll ruin things all by himself Anna. anyway. Anna. Anna. One, two, three. Are we going to be having a little pressure time? Don't get him too excited. You'll get mashed banana all over your blouse. <laughs> mashed banana? I used to give that to his in Katie with a bit of honey. honey. <laughs> well, you think I got the recipe? You got me out of many a hole when uh, Katie was little. The hole I left you in. Oh, I've missed so much. The girls growing up, those two being born. If I could turn back the clock. Well, I'm sure we both do a lot differently, eh? Hey? Make other choices. Would you? Because I know I would. There's no point raking it all over, is there? It's gone. Do you know what? I think life is a bit like laying a cement floor. Really. You only get one go at it. So, you just have to make the best of it, eh? Hey? I agree. That's what I'm trying to do now. Kel. Well, what's left of them? Hmm. Nothing stands still, does it? Mm. Tell me about it. I can't believe they've flattened Smokies. I always lived up to its name, that place, didn't they? Used to smell of tab ends every night. <laughs> But we had some good times there. I remember the night we met. Somebody to love were playing. You were at the bar with your long hair, bell bottoms, <laughs> and a tash. <laughs> I remember thinking you had a look of Freddie Mercury about you. What? Yeah, with better teeth, though. Yeah, with better teeth. You just finished with that girl. Oh, I forgot her name. Barbara. And if you must know, she finished with me. You're kidding. Mm. All those years you told me you dumped her. Why? Then they have told bigger lies. Oh, I just wanted to impress, you know. And I was embarrassed. <laughs> she elbowed me because she reckoned I wasn't a good dancer. I mean, I wouldn't have minded so much, but you know, I wasn't bad back in the day. I used to light up the floor with my moves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's polyester slacks for you. <laughs> I tell you, I had to look away whenever Kung Fu fighting came on. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> oh, I always enjoyed the slowies with you. Yeah. Well, you didn't get much chance once the kids came along, did you? Well, it was hard at home with the girls. <laughs> so flaming hard. I, I was tired. I just wanted a break from it all, and I yeah. fell into that thing with... There's no point, love. No, I want you to hear this. Because not a day has passed that I've not regretted what I did. I missed you. I missed us. Don't you think I didn't? That's why I was so angry, because you ruined things. Anyways. Like I said, there's no point in this. <laughs> Look at him. He's worn out. I put him down with Jake. Uh, could I do it? I, if you don't mind. No, no, I mind. It's uh, bedroom through there. Hey, come on, sweetheart. Off we go. Come on. There we go. Come on, then. I just think bring him by. I just put the kids down for a nap. Mm. Oh, yeah, listen, I was going to start teasing. Anything you fancy, love? All right, well, I'll surprise you then. I'll surprise you then. 
All right, see you later, love. Bye. You, cooking tea. Never thought I'd see the day. Well, when you left, I had to get used to doing a lot of things that I hadn't done before. Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. What was she ringing for? Must have been bored at the cafe. Right. How come you never mentioned me? It's best not to. I was only visiting the kids. Yeah, but she mightn't have seen it like that. No point in worrying her unnecessarily. I don't follow. You're my ex-wife, Linda. The mother of my kids. So, uh... What are you saying, that she feels threatened? Is she any need to feel that way? Listen to me, Owen. I need to know. It broke my heart when I left you. And my heart's been broken again now. I've seen the family that I could have had. Yeah, I told you. I'm sorry what happened with the girls, OK, for cutting you out. I'm not just talking about the kids. I'm talking about you. You and me. Yeah. It's the past. It doesn't have to be. I still love you. Mm. I always have. I want to be with you and the girls. We can go back to Portugal together. Start a new life as a family. We can make things right. You, me, the girls. I've got a life here. Yeah, but is it the life you want? I'm with Anna. You asked me if I was doing this to see if there were still feelings there. There are for me. Do you know what, Linda, for a long, long time after you left, I thought I would never be able to get over what you did. Never be able to trust anyone ever again. Like I said, I've got a life here. With Anna. The pair of you do nothing but fight and argue. That's because we care. That's what love is all about. No, don't you ever say I didn't love you. Yeah. Yeah, you probably did. But not enough. It was more complicated than that. Yeah. And you know it. Hi, love. You didn't say we had company. I'm just going. Oh, don't leave on my account. Oh, believe me. It's sooner I didn't play Gooseberry. Bye. Normal service will be oh, Hey, and the best thing was, I didn't even know it had gone. <laughs> Nene, honestly. <laughs> oh. Linda! He's told you, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, he's told me. Listen, I, uh, well, I just wanted to say I hope you have a good trip back. I know it's going to be hard going back to Portugal alone, you know, when you was hoping that things were going to be different. I'm still hoping. You've had the answer. Let's just leave it that, shall we? I'm not talking about you, Owen. I'm talking about our girls. What about them? I don't want to miss any more of their lives. I'm going to ask Izzy and Katie to come back with me. <sighs> Look, maybe it's just what Michael said. Oh, well, it was a bit of a stretch, you know, free dinner here or a buddy at the factory. I'm sure we'll fast it down <laughs> as well. I just thought I'm leaving next week. I'd like to spend as much time with you both as I can. Mm. Back to the sun and the filler with the pool. I'm sure you're really going to miss this place. <laughs> I'll miss you. Well, we can come and visit, can't we? Maybe in the summer. It's that easy for Manchester. Mm -hmm. The truth is, I'd like you both to come back with me. Start a new life in Portugal. Yeah. Well, 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 you know. Great. Schools are good. Shopping. It's cheap. Nightlife goes on till three o'clock in the morning, every morning. It does sound amazing. <laughs> We'd live with you. Mm. Or you could find a place of your own. I'd take care of the rent. Well, where would we work? With me. You know, the pay's not bad. And you're oh. likely to get the sack. Un unless you wanted something else. We'd have to learn the language, wouldn't we? Ideally. Though most people do speak English these days. Have you mentioned this to Dad? Yes. And what did he say? Well, he doesn't want to lose you. 
Though he wouldn't be losing you, of course. <laughs> but it is your decision, not his. Hey! I was only mocking about. Gail! So, what do you say? I don't know. My whole life's round here. Job, friends. So, you could make new friends. And then there's Jake. You'd have a bilingual son. Yeah, but taking him away from his dad. I, I know things haven't been easy with me and Gary, but I don't think I could do that to him. Well, he could visit whenever he liked. It's not the same as being around the corner, though, is it? Well, you don't have to decide today. I can't do it. It's a brilliant offer, but... Katie? It's a big thing. I mean, I'm just starting a relationship with Callum, and I'm in the same boat as Izzy. Can I really take Joseph away from Chesney? You don't sound too sure. It sounds amazing. But and sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. I just don't think I can do it. I'm sorry. So now you can. Or has she been a bit off with you lately? Mm, yeah, she's, she's probably got a lot on her mind. You don't think she disapproves of us? Who knows? See you in a bit. Well, you'll be pleased to know it's just me who will be saying goodbye. They don't want their sons to be away from their fathers. You've brought up two very responsible daughters, Owen. Well done. You've had three responses. Well, yeah, it sounds amazing, but. Just up in sticks and leaving Joseph without a dad. I'd be gone in a flash. Really? Do anything to get out of this dump. Watch and out! I know it's early days for you, Mr. Max! What are you doing? What's happened? He's in the way. What do you mean he's in the way? Okay. That's not a very nice thing to do, Max. Don't care. Don't care. What's wrong? Oh, Max just knocked him over. Did he do that? Yeah, it looks worse than it is. It was an accident. Max! You want to keep him under control. It's not my fault if your son's a wimp. I tell him. He's only three. You ought to watch your mouth, you little troll. Or oh, what? It might get rearranged. Yeah, just try it. Right, stop it, both of you. Stop it. He started it. Look, it's all right. You can go. We'll be fine. Have you weird yourself? You sound like a ten-year-old. Oh, you know what? You are so yesterday. Missing out on Portugal to be with me? You think if I wanted serious, I'd be with a slapper like you? Max, come on. I'd say you've just had a lucky escape. She's had two more. Yeah, but doing that in front of chairs. How could he? All I was was his bit of fun. Yeah, well, we've all been there. You're right, Katie. What? Oh, I'm sorry about before. Oh, it's not your fault. How's Joseph? Yeah, he's fine. It was just a bump. Is that it between you and Callum? You deserve better. If this is how I can do, you know where I am. Thanks, Chess. He's a nice man. That's exactly why I can't go to Portugal. But you're thinking about it, though. Listen, Chesney can always visit. It's not the other side of the world. And I'd pay if money was a problem. And if it doesn't work out, you can always catch the next plane back. Hey, what have you got to lose? Do you know what? Being done by him is the best thing that could have happened to Cater. Yeah. And you won't be going to Portugal, either of you, so it's good news all round. Yeah, we can start thinking about Faye's birthday on Friday. I thought she could have a surprise party. Thirteen, eh? God, it takes me back. You all right, Cater? Where is it, love? Right, well, um... <laughs> There's no really easy way to say this, but I'm... Um, I'm gonna go and live with my mum in Portugal. I thought you decided against. Yeah, I had, but after today, I'm not really sure there's much for me around here. Well, there's me for a start. It's not as if I'm never gonna see you. No, but you'll be over a thousand miles away. You're not exactly gonna be dropping by for a natter, are you? This is on the rebound from Callum. You need to let all that settle before you go making big decisions. I don't wanna wait. I wanna go now. What else have you said to her? Nothing I didn't say this lunchtime. Right, so this is about me. That's why you're going. 
Yeah. Yeah, a bit, if I'm honest. Things haven't been the same since I found out about Mum. All that time I could have spent with her and I didn't. Well, at least sleep on it. And what about Chesney? What are you going to say to him? That's the only problem. I've got absolutely no idea. Funny. Well, anyway, your guests are just going, so I'll speak to you later. Yeah. I didn't come to drink. Just remember, it's still Faye's birthday, yeah? I was going to come and see you as soon as this was over. Ask Gary. Ask anyone. They all know, then. You've not discussed it with me, but the rest of the street have had the law down. Look, maybe you two should take this next door. Well, maybe we should get going. Oh, we could take the boys. Yeah, I'll go and get them. No, don't bother. It's not happening. I'm sorry that you've had to hear this second hand. Have you ever been to Portugal? Well, just listen! Do you even speak a word of Portuguese, apart from peri-peri chicken? It'll be a better life for both of us. With Linda? You've not clapped eyes on her for 18 years, and now you want to turn all of our lives upside down on her say-so. No, no, my say-so. She walked out on you without a backward glance. Yeah, you don't know the facts. I know that you couldn't stand her till a week ago, and now she's filled your head with all this big talk, and you've fallen for it. It's not talk. It's a lovely house. An outdoor life. You know, kids aren't sat hunched over computer games. They're out at the beach, running around the square. And it's a small town. Joseph would be safe. And with family. You're not family. She's got a birth certificate that says so. And she says so. Look, I know it's been a bit tough for you lately. So you thought you'd kick me while I'm down? Were you going to wait till I was at the hospital? Try and sneak him through passport control? Oh, no. She might be a pushover, but I'm not. Joseph's place, Joseph's family, is here. End of. You know, until you turned up there again, I'm just fine. All you saw was the bullet. What did the doctor say? He just needs time. You go back next week, we don't have time. Well, I could always delay my flight. No, you've got your business. Season's picking up, you even said so yourself. We'd find a way. Show him the villa online. Let him see what you'd be moving to. You know, we could take him out there, call it a recce. No, he won't leave Sinead. Well, where does that leave Joseph? If he's with her at the hospital, day in, day out? With his family. There's enough of us to take up the slack. Yeah, but for how long, though? You know, it could be years before Sinead's back on her feet. No, I'd manage. He's a brilliant dad. I've been the flaky one. No, no, you just made a few mistakes, that's all. Don't beat yourself up about it. And Chesney, you know, he could have kicked it off, but he didn't, did he? Well, that's in the past. It's your future I'm talking about. Do you know what your future looks bright, darling? You've got your mum back in your life. You can email her, phone her. You can spend all summers there if you want to. You, you've got the best of both worlds, love. We all have. Don't expect to see you, eh? Yeah, you know, Linda's last day. Listen, if you want a private chat. Uh, no, no, it's fine, um... Sit down, I might as well tell you both at the same time. Tell us what? I'm sorry. I can't... I can't come with you. I can't take Joseph away from Chesney and I can't go without him. Well, I'm surprised as you. I feel like I'm losing you again. No, I'll still come and see you. If you saw the kind of life you could have out there. No, 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 don't pressure her. I'm not. Listen, you know, it's a big decision. I'm sure she's thought long and hard about it. Yeah, I have. I know I'm a lone voice here. But you're turning your back on a wonderful opportunity. <sighs> Maybe we don't get that second chance. You'll come and see me off, though. Please. Yeah, of course I will. <sighs> I've seen some weird things in my time, but... Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm on my dinner hour, so I've got till two. Can I phone you? Yeah. Can't guarantee I'll answer. Oh. No, I, I will. <laughs> I'd like that. <laughs> Listen, don't be so hard on your dad. We both let you down, but we both love you. Right, I'll uh, just put these in the booth. Oh, here she is. Hey, 
Are you okay? Look at you. Yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh, I've just been cleaning at the gym and the chemicals in sting my eyes a bit, so. Really, I'm fine. Oh, come here. <laughs> you know, you're welcome to visit any time. Any time at all. As long as you fight again. Oh, don't worry, I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, all of you. <laughs> Just to see the two of you again. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, I'll go. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Very soon. I've got a bit of time. Anyone fancy a quick drink in the Rovers? My treat. I've got stuff to do. Yeah, me too. I've got to go back to work. So they're all well. Yeah. 